coming out of Lakeland, Florida High School, you weren't exactly an unknown quantity. I mean, the Rockies drafted you on the 21st round, but the, the colleges didn't exactly knock your door down, did they? And, and mm -hmm. you got a, a partial scholarship from, from yeah. FGCU. Um, tell me about uh, your relationship with the Florida Gulf Coast coach, uh, Dave Tollett, and, and the impact your years at FGCU had on your life? So my first interaction with Florida Gulf Coast was talking with Dan Rosell, the pitching coach, and then later met Rusty McKee and, and, and Coach Toe. Um, yeah, I remember sitting there, I was in Georgia. I was, I was at um, East Cobb, and they were the, they called me their first and basically only school within a few, you know, a few months to call me and uh, I was excited, you know, it was, a, it was a Division II school at the time, but they were transitioning into Division I, which would have been my freshman year. So, you know, I had a Division I team or school looking at me to play baseball, and that's kind of all I'd really dreamed of up until then. You were on Cape Cod, mm -hmm. pitching for Yarmouth Dennis, mm -hmm. being named the outstanding pitcher in the Cape League. But aside from the pitching, what did a Florida boy think of Cape Cod, and, and do you have any favorite <laughs> recollections of that summer? My, my favorite part of that summer, my dad and I drove up there to get from Florida and switched on and off driving, yeah. pulled into rest areas, slept in the car, wake up, one of us would drive. It, it, was, it was actually really fun. I remember him telling me, because, like, you know, obviously when I was there, you know, Florida Gulf Coast has done a really good job over the last few years. Their baseball program uh, has been unbelievable they had obviously their best team last year going to a regional but when I was there my first year was a, our first year being division one and uh, set but we were still really good we won our conference all three years I was there but it's still a smaller school you know right. it's not you know the Arizona States the Florida UCLA, Florida, State, Florida, Miami. Florida Miami, yeah. you know all the you know all yeah. the big name schools so my dad's kind of prepping me on this like you know these guys are gonna be good you know don't be discouraged if you don't see you know instant success or have you know all this other stuff so that's kind of what, what sticks out to me and our drive home was drastically different than the drive up so. you mean after 57 punch outs and nine <laughs> walks something like that for the entire I summer i don't exactly remember what it yeah. was but uh it was fun I, I remember that time you know spending with my dad i mean that's a long time to be in a car and we, we kind of got to talk a lot and, and hang out and uh he left me that car for the summer and it, it, that car didn't come back the same either <laughs> <laughs> chris sale is the new pitcher on for the east that same summer Mm -hmm. You also pitched here in Fenway yeah. Park in a Red for the first Sox time. That's right, because your your Cape League, you pitched yeah. for the Yarmouth Dennis Red mm -hmm. Sox, right? Yeah. What do you remember from that experience? I just be, kind of being overwhelmed. It was the first time I'd ever been like inside of a big, like on the field of a of a major league stadium. Yeah. Um, growing up in Lakeland, I went to Tiger Town. Um, been had been there. I went to. Uh, for my ninth birthday, went to the first, the inaugural game at Tropicana Field with my uncle. But I'd never been on the field, and that was the first time I was on the field. And it, it, it just, it looked huge yeah. to me. I mean, the, the, you know, third deck makes a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, and just trying to throw hard. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I'm pitching at Fenway Park. They got the radar gun working. I'm going to try to throw as hard as I can. Uh, it couldn't have been too tough. You only threw six pitches to get out of your innings. So. Yeah, it ended up working out pretty well. Yeah. 